Well, it's that time again. You guys hungry? Have something. Big ass fish. I guess we can't forget the other ones over here. Hungry? Hungry? <laughs> All right, enough wasting time. Uh, doing a quick update here just because I'm busy as hell and people are bugging me. So, yep, as you can see there, I'm replacing the black towers with some blue and green ones because summer's coming and I don't need that much heat in the water. The question that keeps coming up in regards to this little computer here. No, I'm not going to release the source code for this. Uh, it only applies to my system and it's nothing more than a glorified thermostat anyway. If you want a thermostat that has a web interface and remote control, they sell those off the shelf. You can buy them at Amazon all day long. I still have a lot of lettuce to eat. <laughs> Um, doing an update here because I had some people asking me about the recipe for the potting mix that I use in the wicking beds and as you can see I got the other the other six of them connected together and plumbed in now I'm just topping them off with uh, potting soil and planting them um, had another question pop up this morning regarding these pipes people think I'm going to trip over these or somebody's going to trip over him. <laughs> um, keep in mind, I'm the only person working out here. This is not a commercial operation. I don't have employees, it's just me. I know those pipes are there. I'm 50% blind. I know they're there and they need to be stepped over. It's not a big deal. But if I were to have ran all the pipes up along that edge and back like that, it would have taken three to five times as much PVC to do that and then I would have had low spots where sediment would have you know, settled out and plugged up the lines. So no, these are better the way they are. But people were questioning me on the potting soil or potting mix recipe. So I'm gonna try to dummy proof this a little further. You get these bales of peat moss at any building center or garden center. Uh, they're cheap. I think, pretty sure they're like six dollars for that one bale right there. If you have a three and a half cubic foot cement mixer, you do this with one third of a bale at a time. So for every bale or a third of a bale that you put in there, now I use a one pound coffee can as a measuring cup. I use one well-packed can of sawdust or wood shavings. Uh, if you know anybody that has a, a shop where they build you know, kitchen cabinets or whatever, they have wood shavings that they're always getting rid of. Uh, if you don't, then you could buy those pellets like what I use to run the pellet stove with. As soon as water hits those, they turn right back into sawdust again, instantly. No waiting at all. So I use a pound can packed with that with a third of a bale in there and then a pound can of this which is vermiculite or mica insulation doesn't matter it doesn't have to say horticultural grade uh, it's, vermiculite is vermiculite there are no chemicals in that stuff and then I use a one pound coffee can that's the stuff right there it's composted turkey poop fertilizer so one one pound can of that one one pound can of dolomite or limestone or what is it agricultural lime i guess they would call that and then another coffee can of perlite and you put it in there and you let it tumble around you might want to add some water to keep the dust down but after you have all that in there, that will fill up that wheelbarrow all the way. 
And then I just go around to each one of these and plant them, or plant them, sorry, fill them with that. Uh, it takes quite a few trips. I guess if, if you were to, well, here, we'll show an example. When I make the wicking beds, see, I haven't gotten to these down here. There's one layer of nothing but a complete bag of peat moss. To mix the potting mix, to top these off takes two more bales. So if you're doing it, you know, a third of a bale at a time, it takes quite a few trips, but it, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's not gonna kill you, it's just a little bit of exercise. But I think that covers it. I need to wrap this up kind of quickly here because the sun is shining. And that means the exhaust fans are going to turn on. But, um, Sorry, I've been a little stagnant on the videos. I've just been busy. I just don't have that much time to sit here and, and make videos for YouTube all the time. So I'm going to cut this off. We'll catch you next time. Want some garlic? Bye.